Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your daily news update from the Frankfurt office of CMC Markets. What you can see here is the DAX Germany 30 cash index. One candle is um, a price range of four hours. What you can see here, I'm sorry for that being German, is the open interest in the options that will expire on Friday at uh, 1 p.m. German time. They will expire, so that's the big expiry day for options and futures contracts. And if you look at the next net exposure and the open interest um, and compare them, then the strike prices from 10,500 to 10,650 are the um, range where there is net exposure going, net short exposure is going to be a net long exposure. So the big boys, the big capital, hedge funds, investment managers um, would feel best and the banks, everybody would feel most comfortable when the DAX would be between 10,500 and 10,650 by expiry on Friday. And that is the big topic um, for the market going forward and going into this week. The DAX is virtually pinned where it is right now. It could rise a little, you saw it in the chart. And um, yeah, but big rallies are actually um, less probable. Goldman Sachs has um, published a forecast. They hold on to their bullish dollar call the Fed will hike rates, uh, if not in September, then afterwards uh, will be rate hikes this year. The market are underpricing, the markets are underpricing the risk of a rate hike. That's what Goldman Sachs says and they expect that the US dollar has still way to go up. The DAX, as I said, is pinned between 10,500 and 650 um, until expiry. After expiry, there is new way, a new potential for the DAX to move uh, stronger in one, um, in, in one direction. Uh, should it be up or down? We will see. But after expiry, investment managers are confronted with a new time horizon until the next expiry. And the question is, what will define this time from this Friday until the next expiry? One of those um, markets and defining moments will be the Algeria Oil Conference, the International Energy Forum. WTI has been volatile yesterday. The market was worried about a post-hurricane rebound in supply, which wasn't coming yesterday. There was only a slight build in crude, um, crude supplies, but there was a um, somewhat strange very huge build in destillates um, in inventories in the United States, which confused traders yesterday. It was very volatile trading in WTI yesterday, which made new weekly lows um, for the time being. That is a market which is very interesting for active intraday traders. Harvard University professor of economics, Kenneth Rogoff, also published an op-ed which where he said that he has um, the feeling that there is a waning confidence in central banks' ability to boost inflation. At the same time, the Bank of Japan published, or at least was cited indirectly by Reuters, without naming anybody within the Bank of Japan, but Reuters says that they heard the Bank of Japan will consider making negative interest rates the centerpiece of future monetary easing. Another piece or defining um, moment of the, um, of the new expiry date, so expiry from Friday to the next expiry date for at Germany 30 options and uh, also on Wall Street and uh, of course the FTSE will be the referendum which will come out of Italy. At the 8th of August, the court there has said that they are actually um, accepting that there will be a referendum so now the uh, government in Rome has 60 days to, to um, name a day where the referendum will be. It should be in autumn. And that referendum, what, it, what is it all about? It is all about to pull power away from the Senate in Rome and give it to the local areas. And that is actually 
um, a step which is actually uh, seen as a threat for the European Union and that could have uh, ripple effects and negative effects on the markets that are comparable to the Brexit referendum. So keep that in mind. It's completely out of the news. Nobody's really reporting about it, but that will be a big, big thing for autumn, the Italy referendum. Another big thing yesterday was for single stock traders. Um, and I can say every time where there is macro risk, there is always micro opportunities. And one of those micro opportunities could be from a technical standpoint, the stocks and equities from Apple made a higher high yesterday and that resistance which it broke yesterday is a very important one from the um, if you look at it uh, at the chart from an Elliott wave perspective and if you look at it from a trend following a Dow theory perspective that was a very um, important uh, higher high the market made yesterday in Apple shares for us Internally, we, we said, okay, if it goes above that major resistance, markets believe that the iPhone 7 will be a success. So watch that. It's very interesting to see if there are any follow-on buyers coming in today.